Well, let's see what we start with. Yep. All right, I know you're here somewhere. Oh, an iron buckle. Nice. That's a good way to start. That is a good way to start, all considering out of our big permission. This is one of the sites that was occupied 1700s to early 1900s, so we're going to be digging a lot of... Right, but <laughs> junk. <laughs> There's stuff in the junk. you got to fight through the junk to find the stuff under it. Good job, Buenos. Nice. Well, all right, I'm going to battery up before battery I go up. further. Good start. That's a big old nail. Yeah, it shouldn't have been that. No. Wow. No. <sighs> that was one clean nail. Yeah, it was. Nice, so you got this mission accomplished, huh? Yeah. Wow. Good job, because uh, we've only worked this site twice, and if you remember last year, it was yeah. tough, but we're here to dig the... Yep. junk out today yeah and this is right by like the road so. right beautiful good job yeah you see a little bit of probably words on the around the edge there yeah nice i heard you picking at that yeah very faint yeah. quiet i got another faint one that I'm gonna chase right next to it. Who done did what? I done did. Oh man. Is it a button? I think it's part of one. But it's missing the rest of it. But it's very light, like aluminum. Yeah, that's odd. Yeah. Do you think you'd done dug a half or something i you know when i first looked at it i was like no no <laughs> <laughs> not after last time you know right i was like i think it used up my luck for a while so yeah but i think it's part of a two-piece good you job know, definitely oh. Oh, nice. it seems though the ground is a bit more responsive than last time uh, yeah it, it i'm catching more um you know, the faint animal iron grunts. Yeah, because we struggled to get what we did get before. Mm-hmm. It's been almost a year. Oh, oh. well, I think it was a ring. And then it just disapparated. It was, uh, I stuck my finger in and it... Holy crap, though. Yeah. That can't be gold if it just broke like that, right? No. But, uh... It's shiny. It is. You know, three pieces of something, but it's, it's definitely reeded around the outside for pretty. That's weird. Wow. That just broke so easily. Right. Almost like a... Almost like a... Uh, Plastic gumball machine ring. <laughs> Gold plated. <laughs> right. Huh. And nails. Well, I knew it. I filled in my plug, stood up, swung and heard it and started pinpointing again and there was a pewter button in there I was going to say that nail was an awfully good signal there we go I got my button Getting pretty deep there, uh, buddy. 
Yeah, it's one of those uh, <laughs> too good to be true signals, so I'm going all the way with this one. Yeah, I saw your elbow disappear a minute ago. Like I said, too good to be true. She metal? But yeah, it was that quiet 82, 83. Yep. Really deep. So I was like, yeah, I'll take the time. Yep. Get it out of there. Pull tab spill. Oh, nice. <laughs> Somebody hung there for a while. Four so far. Four. <laughs> well, there is a couple of beer cans over there from somebody. Nice. That's probably what they're from. <laughs> You get the cause light trifecta. There we go. Sketchy signal, but a nice dinnerware knife right in the lip. Actually, right near the button. With a couple nails, a couple pieces of shards. Beautiful. This could be an oxen shoe buried in the rocks. We'll take that. Yeah. Oh, I'll take that. Musket ball. Yeah. Nice name. Nice little musket ball there. A little impacted. Good job. Yeah. In Good. the mess. Yeah, in the mess. I'm gonna stay right here. Wow. Pulling yeah, something. Because you're on the what we're presuming was the barn side, and there's just all kinds of little squares, little structures, and pens and whatnot. Yeah. Good job. Thanks, man. What'd you do? like an earring. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I think it's uh, fake jewelry. It's not real gold, I don't think. See the bag. Yeah. Nice find. What would that ring up? For like 50s. Huh. Well, you're right. Right in the zone of where Dame's gold ring came from, and that's the path that went down to the cabin, and your seated dime was on the other side. It's definitely a, a busy area. Nice find, Nate. Yeah. Tim, did you dig anything yet? No. Oh. <laughs> Come on, don't be picky. Just, well, be picky, but don't be choosy. I tried. I was getting nothing but big stuff so it's all right big things hide small things yeah right yeah. usually they're so big i can't even dig them out though Oh, beautiful. Same side of the lip. Nice knee buckle, complete. Damn, knee buckle. Oh, sweet, right there. Right here. Amazing. Knee buckle. Knee buckle. Really? It's all there. Oh, wow. sweet. Awesome. That is beautiful. That, I'm not paying attention. I'm just literally swing beep dig. I, right. think, it, I think it was mid 50s, but yeah, that's an interesting frame. It is. Yeah. Put the tongue there. Oh, this is pretty old. Oh yeah. It's like late 1600s, early 1700s. And the hole this is, is still brought over. Not window glass. Look at that frame. I have to swing that's over so it. Sick. Yeah, that tongue uh, and shape is definitely, you'll be able to date it. Yeah. That is, that's significantly older. I think that this lip, especially since the soil is so soft, I bet you there's some 
submerge in here. Uh huh. I mean, even the nail bed is getting down pretty deep. But there we go. Don't know. Is it thick? It's uh, fairly thick. I mean, it gets the job done. <laughs> Draft something. And right where you are, last year Dame dug a wheat penny. No kidding. Maybe there's more in there, Tim. Sounded like all kinds of different stuff. <laughs> Beautiful. Surprise, surprise. Yep. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Yep. Okay, I'm, I'm filming your knife. And I was swinging the pinpointer in there. Whoa! The bone! The bone! It might not even be the same knife. Maybe there's a spill of uh, uh, utensils here. That's not busted off, unless it came out of the collar. Oh, look at that. Dude. Look at that. That's it. That's sick. <laughs> wow. Incidental. Yep, but that's why when we open it up, we keep going. Very cool. Knife job. Double knife job. That's pretty amazing. It's probably gonna be nails in here, but who knows? Oh, that's not a nail. Oh, it's a, um, an escutcheon drop hole hanger bolt thingy. Oh, wow. Nice. See, keep going. Look at that, huh? Did you find the silver ore drawer? <laughs> That would be pretty sick. Well, Imagine that. Look, look where you're sitting. Yeah. Yeah. We're in the kitchen. Wow. I'll say. Spoon bowl. Here's where the neck would be. Things hammered. Kind of looks shiny. 57. I'm still trying to get to whatever the metal signal is, but. Oh, wow! Yeah, so you're talking like a foot deep, so there is a ton of stuff way down. That's good. Yeah. I don't know what my target is. I can't seem to pick it up, but I'm finding junk pieces anyway. Well, you keep digging that. Yeah, it's gonna be a while. It's way down there. I got a signal. Oh, no way. <laughs> it's a casing? Wow. It's a casing. Jeez. You got it? Yeah, it's out. Now I just gotta swing and make sure that's what that signal was. Oh, wow. That was it. <laughs> Sounded so much better before I opened the ground. <laughs> Good thing the Jeep's close with all them pounds. Right. Right in the edge of the cave then. Yeah, so far this side of the lip has been good. Oh, what is that? 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> Bingo. Yeah? I think you just dug a big copper. Nice. <laughs> I thought you said it could be a beautiful man. Uh, that's a good way to end the day. Yes, it is. All right, let's clean her up. Yeah. Nothing like a nice hold coin, huh? Mm. Uh-huh. Somebody cherished it enough to wear it. Yep. Uh, 18, 20 something. She's starting to come through. Yeah, it's gotta be like 18, 20 something or 18, 30 something. Oh. Good job picking mm -hmm. through the trash, guys. Right. That was a lot of targets considering last year we were kind of like, whoa, what a mess. Right, and there's still a lot of targets here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think it's 39. Or 29. Nice. Yeah, somewhere in there. Beautiful. Yeah, either way, good way to end the day.